Sometimes you just get bored of living in a forest or on the plains or in the mountains. So if you fancy a bit of a change and living in the desert, then I'm gonna show you a really simple desert starter house. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Amamance, in my house tutorial series. We are gonna build a house. It seems like it's ages since we built a house together. I, I literally don't don't know when it was. It was a while ago though, wasn't it? So we are well overdue doing a house. At the beginning of this year, which at the time of recording was only a couple of weeks ago, I asked you what sorts of things you'd like to see. And one of the things you said you'd like to see was to see some different biome builds. Now, that fills me with fear because I've not done much building outside of my kind of comfort zone biomes. But I thought, you know what? Don't be a cowardy custard. You've got to go and get yourself building because that's what people want to see. So I am going to give this a go. We are going to try and do a building in a desert style. So this is, all right, it's probably the smallest desert known to man. I didn't create this. This is literally a desert that created itself. It's not much more than a sandpit, frankly, but we're gonna give it a go. But because this is my first real time of doing a desert house, we're not gonna do a biggie, we're just gonna do a literally. So this is gonna be a small desert house, maybe even a small desert starter house, if you like, but I thought I'd give it a go. And like normal, we're gonna crack right on with freestyle. I'm not going to plan it. I'm literally going to make it up as I go along. So this could go horribly wrong. Should we have a crack at it? Let's do it now. Right, so because this is freestyle, I don't really know what I'm going to use. But obviously, with it being a desert house, the materials that are going to be nearby are going to be very deserty. So we've got sandstone and chiseled sandstone, sandstone slabs and sandstone stairs. I've also got some birch because I thought birch is a little bit sandy in its colour. I don't normally use birch to build. So we've got some birch there. We've got slabs, we've got planks, we've got stairs. I've also got some oak wood because I want to get some contrast. And I've got some stripped birch, which, which I may or may not use. But it's quite a nice colour. And again, it's sort of in the same palette as the sand. Obviously, we've got some ancillary items. I've got some gravel because you never know when you need a bit of gravel. A spruce door I thought might be quite interesting. We've got some cactus and various other bits and pieces that we might lob in there as well. Let's have a go. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is basically draw a square. Because uh, generally speaking, these things tend to be square-ish. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so we're going to do a nine by nine square. There you go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine. You've now also got your daily dose, 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 daily dose of counting with Avo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then hopefully that should all join up nicely if I've managed to count properly. There we go. And what we want to do, I think, is get a door that's off-center. Now my only question is, how off-center do I want it? If I go through the windows, there, there, there. I reckon there. What do we think? Yeah, let's whack that in there. And I'm gonna make the floor birch, I think. Now, I'm probably gonna cover this in carpet, but I didn't want there to be a sandy floor because there's nothing worse than you getting sand in your shoes and your toes when you're walking around inside your house. It's all right if you go to the beach and all that, but if you're doing it inside your house, that is not something that you want in your life. So I'm gonna remove this sand from inside. It's a lot easier to hoover once you've got this all gone. I'll tell you that for nothing. You clag your hoover up constantly if your floor's made of sand. So don't do that. That is not something I would advise. Okay, so that is the door. Do we think that's far enough? If I put that there like that. Right, so I'm literally, I'm just playing at the moment. We're gonna come around like that make a second level, I think. But obviously we've got to knock some holes in this so as we can make some windows. But I don't know yet where the windows are gonna go. So let's do that. Where's my door? There's my door. Right, so if I put the door on, that means that I can then see what I'm doing. How are we looking there? I reckon that is an okay start. Now, I was thinking about how I'm gonna do this, and I want this to be a two floor, but I want the top floor to be like an open floor, a bit like, you know, our castle is open at the top. Well, desert um, homes, I 
kind of had a look online at desert houses and they tend to be in real life i mean they tend to be open at the top with kind of a flat roof that you walk around on and you use that as sometimes a bit of a living room and then they've got like a canopy over them so that's what i'm going to try and achieve here i think and i think i might do it with some sandstone stairs so if i just put that like that um i'm not sure about this at the minute i've got to be honest right that like that there and no not there that like that just for now that's going to kind of set me up to what i want to do i can then do another level around this way jump a gap for that window bring that across there obviously this is boring and flat and square and we're going to play around with it in a bit to put some detail on it but i think at the moment we're probably there so that's three high what height do we want so if we have the next bit as kind of the the roof level so if i close that window off like that there now so this is a four high square this is going to be the roof in there like that and let's make i reckon if we make this a birch floor completely enclosed because you don't access the the roof from the inside the inside is closed off i may change this if i can actually fire that goes like that and there and there 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 there, 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 there. right so we got a whole floor going right there i'm then going to bring up obviously we need to whack another doodara of sandstone there with some more steps that go there like that and then right so this is where it gets a bit i've got a couple of choices now i might do that and actually make that into something in a bit if i make that like that and like that as well that makes sort of a potential for a back door there now aren't we actually i'm going to do that we've now got a back door which means can you tell i'm making this up as a girl along right so we've got a back door there which means i need to put that like that and that needs to go like that okay so that's an inside that's an all right inside right and then we're gonna have small windows because desert houses i'm pretty confident have small windows yeah, they do. And I'm not entirely sure they have glass, do they? So let's just put some fence. I might change this, peeps, because I'm not entirely sure this is going to work. But let's have a look at it from the outside. Uh, you know what? I'm, I might keep it for now. Let's just keep it for now, because I'm not sure whether or not it's working or not. But I am going to get some trap doors. If I put trap doors there... And there does that look that don't look daft does it right so let's do it around this side as well no not there look there 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 and there and then come around this bit and do the same there there and there and then perhaps what about that what do we think about that no not that that was worth a crack but not that we can then put have i got another set let me try. I don't think it's going to work with those steps. Let's get some oak oak steps, maybe. We'll give this a go. I don't want it too dark. Normally, I'd use spruce for this sort of thing, but I think it needs to be lighter. So we're going to use oak. I think that looks all right. What if we make it three wide? No, let's leave it one wide for now. And then come down this way. I'll come and have a word with you in a minute. And then that like that that's all right what if we put um, what about that and that that's quite nice i like that okay so we're getting somewhere we are slowly developing people there we go this is a trial and error effort here so we're going to put that because they need summit to stop the sun shining straight in because that's proper hot isn't it in the desert and it's not got a slant on it because we're not worried about rain i'm then going to do that and that 
to try and pull that level out as well. And what if I duplicate that there? Does that, ah, so now we've got a bit of a split level doodah going on there and that looks okay. Hmm. All right, so we're nearly there with that one, I reckon. So this is the open air part. So what I want to do now is I want to just come up another level with the sandstone, just the one all the way around the outside to give us an opening. Hmm, now do I need to come, let me just look at, no, I think I'm all right with that actually, for now, again, for now, I think that's okay. So let's be consistent, do that, and then how does that work? Yeah, all right, we'll go with that just for now. We might play with that in a minute, but it's looking okay. How have I done that? That's a different block. And it, eh? That's better. Right, so I think there we are. Yeah, we are laughing. So now what I want to do is I want to start to play with some texture. So let's get that in there. And maybe even some, no, not some sandstone stairs. But we want to get some texture in there. Now, normally I'd put different types of textures in. But with this, I'm just going to pop some randomly just to get a different feel. Some chiseled sandstone block like that. There. Otherwise, it's just far, far, far too uniform, and I don't like it. So it's come up there like that, and there like that. Above there. There. Just doing the top row at the moment. Let's end that there. Perhaps that. Literally, again, make it up as you go along when you do this, because you never know when the perfect combination, I'm not going to do that, that's going to do that. I'm going to do that there instead. And I reckon we're starting to get something that is looking all right, albeit a bit boxy. So we need to try and, I don't know, stop it looking so square. I'm not entirely sure. I'd like to use it. I'm really, really keen on using this wood. And I'm not sure how I'm going to use it. And I'm wondering whether or not I should use it just in the corners like that and then have right um that don't work does it goodness me get rid of that before anybody sees for goodness sake right so what hang on what if we do that how's that if we um okay that might work that might work what if we do that on the corners right so I'm making this up we do that on the corners like that on the corner bit oh gone too far there we go up like that see that don't quite look right there now does it that's not what we're after let's put that back in there That's a shame because that sort of did work. I wonder, no, I can't now because I put that door in, and I, I wonder, hmm, what if I actually did it in this corner? It looked a little bit offset, but let's give it a go. Nope, that don't work either. So we're going to get rid of that. And we are going to, yeah, we're going to get rid of all of them actually. Um, and I've got to retexture the bits that weren't textured now. What we could do, what we could do, hang on, let's just do that. The old classic, bring it out a little bit and give it some depth technique. How is that working? Now that, okay, now that might work. I was gonna, not going to do that with this, but actually it sort of works there. That does sort of work. And then... If I then get sandstone stairs, put some footage around them, 
that gives us a little bit of kind of depth on the building. I can then still do it there. And bring that there, 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 and there. So that actually, you might be onto something there, my mate. That actually works, right? Okay, have I got any buttons? Yes, I have got some buttons. Uh, no, but pick them up. Come on. Right, so we're going to put some buttons there and there. Oh, I'm not putting any stars. I think, why does that look wrong? Not put any stairs there, that's why. So we're going to put steps there. Doesn't matter that they join up with those ones. There and there. And then actually I'm going to put those buttons one more up. So there's a, a gap there, there. We'll take a step back and see what mess we've made of this in a minute. But I think it might be all right. There, there. And there, oh, got to put a button in there. Coming around and in there. Okay, so we've managed. Now, all of a sudden, all of a sudden now, we have got a little bit of uh, interest here. Let's just change that block for that. Change that block for that to give that some texture. Pop that in there. Like that, and I think, I think, I think, I think, not that one. Let's go there, like that. That's better. That's better. Okay, so now we are genuinely farming. I'm now going to pop a fence in the corner, and that one too high, like that there, and that there. I'm then going to get the birch slab and come out all the way like that. That's going to come out past that way as well, isn't it? That way here. Um, no, not there. That way there, there, and there. There, 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 and then bring it round again okay so then what we can do now we got that that i might let's pop one there there and there no not there there and there there and there there and there so for now i reckon that is is that looking okay how high is that so if i now go down here I mean, that's right. Yep, that's what we're looking for. So that is the correct height. That comes out there. I'm going to do something more interesting with that in a moment. So we just need to do just a touch more detail around this outside. Now, I'm pondering a little bit here that if I use a ladder there, that that would be an all right decoration. Um, I'm just sort of playing. Let's just do it and see how it looks. I'm looking for it just to give a little bit of texture on it. I'm not sure yet. So this up, mm, this wall's like proper tall, isn't it? And uh, it's got a big old gap there. And I'm not sure what we're going to do with that big old gap. What could we do? Where's, um, let's try doing something interesting with that. Maybe if we do that and that upside down putting that there what actually is that come on over what what is that actually meant to be so if, what if we do it I don't even know what that is either that's that's a literally a nothing right I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna air this place out and we're gonna shove in another window not that another window in there meaning we've got another trap door there I think that's actually better isn't it um, and then around here obviously that's all as it is and that right let's leave it for now I just this is all about playing and let's just leave that for now because I think that'll be okay because I want to do something up here at the top 
and I'm not sure. Um, right, so I'm just going to get some wool. Let's get some white wool and some... Well, let's try yellow wool. Okay, it's a bit sandy in its colour, but let's try it anyway. And we're going to do some stripes on this roof area. And again, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. This is pure experimentation because basically, if you've never done a house of a certain type before, that is too much wood. I've got to get rid of that. Yeah, if you've never done a house of a certain type before, then sometimes you just have to play and work out whether or not what you're doing is, is good, bad, or frankly, appalling. And my jury is out that it could be any one of those things right now at the moment. And that's okay too, because you just change it. The joy of the sandbox, literally, is that you can do this and just go back and back. But you know what? That might be all right, you know. That may just work. I'm, I'm actually happy. Yeah, no, I am. I'm happy with that. That looks all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some. What should we use? What should we use? What should we use? Let's use. I'm going to use glowstone because of the yellow colour. I was thinking about a sea lantern, but I think that is too kind of bluey white. So let's get glowstone and let's just do glowstone in the middle here so if we're going one two three four one two three so that's four in it so it's that fella there so if I stand on that one and look straight up it should be that one right so that then lights up the room we've got a nice little glowstone lamp doodah there that can have that on top and then we come outside we go up our stairs we got glowstone on the floor, which is not necessarily what we're after. No, I don't want a bed. And we are going to put some carpet. Uh, actually, no, not that big. We're just going to have some carpet that size. Then we're going to get, again, we'll do some oak stairs. And we'll have, that can be. A little seating area there and they can have another little seating area there that looks all right we can then have a little table there with a different color carpet and um, what color carpet should we use let's use let's use orange orange might work mightn't it we'll have just a little bit of contrasting no not there contrasting carpet for a table there and also carpet for a table right there so we've got actually that's quite a nice little uh little seating area they got there i like that a lot we'll keep that and then we need to do a little bit of stuffs inside so in here is basically the living area obviously so we are going to put a bed in and we're gonna have a little bit of natural light coming in so we put our bed there we'll have as you normally would next to a bed we'll have a little bit of storage and we'll also have the crafting table can go in there also next to that there or actually no i'm going to swap that around that's going to go there that is going to go there like that we'll have some more storage kind of going up there like that. It's quite nice that works and we have our furnaces in the corner here little furnace array going up like that we can have an anvil can sit there and is there anything else i want to let's make it no let's just leave that nice and simply like that i think that is all you need i am however going to put right next to these a little plant pot in the middle there and i'm going to shove that inside that because that looks all right and then upside down I might do like a little shelf and we'll do plant pot on that 
and a plant pot in there. I think we've done a good job there. I think that's okay. Let's come outside. This is the front door. We're going to grab some gravel. We're going to put gravel there. Just kind of random gravel placement. So as it looks like, we've got kind of a sort of a pathway. And we can have... Let's get birch. Let's use birch just because we can. We can have birch fence. Just kind of guiding the lonely traveller up the path. Like that. There we go. That looks okay, doesn't it? Should we stick a couple of torches in there, I think? Shove a torch on top of that one. Torch on top of that one. And a torch on top of that one. That gives a little bit of light to the front. I'm going to... No, I can't plant a cactus there, obviously. I'll plant a cactus there, there, and there. Give that... Yeah, that's okay. We'll plant a cactus there, there, and there. I'm going to put another cactus in a pot just on the back one there. Oh, let's just shove another thing there but not put anything on it. And I also need to do that over the window here as well, don't I? Otherwise that won't look right. There we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I wonder, do we want to do something like this? Bring that. Yeah, that looks okay. What do you think, people? Does that look all right? I think that looks quite nice, actually. Let's do that. Let's come around all the way along. It might be too much at the front. No, it's not. It's not at all. And then that can come... No, I'm going to leave it open on that side because we want to walk up those stairs. And then... All right, now I think we're winning. Let's get rid of the stairs there. We can come that up there like that. That can be kind of a guide rail that goes along there like that. Yep, that works too. Let's shove a torch on there. Um, I'm then going to put slab on that slab on that slab on that and a slab on that too now the other thing I want to do is what if we do that just to give it an extra bit of a dimension you know what yes let's do that perhaps no that looks ridiculous get rid of that let's come around and do there and there and that's not got one, so that's not going to work, is it? Right, no, so let's remove it. It was worth a thought. It was just a play. Bit of an experiment, but we'll leave that as it stands. Right back on there like that. There we go. All right, I think, I think we might be nearly done. So it's a house, but it's in the desert. So if you were living in the desert, you'd want to have kind of a ready source of food because you're not going to eat cactus because that gets a bit spiky. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, um, under here, I'm going to shove a bucket of water. Then I'm going to pop out those, that and that. Then I'm going to give it the old Santa and a ho ho ho. There we go, like that. I'm going to plant that up with some seeds. That gives us the uh, the necessaries there. And then I'm going to get my fence, and I'm going to run a fence along there like that. So that then is only accessible from there. We'll put not there. We'll put a torch on that. A torch on that and a torch on that like that. That's going to give the necessary light to grow that. And now what we want to do, I'm, I'm still not happy with the amount of detail on this house. And I'm wondering whether or not more buttons might be the order of the day. What about, that might work all right. Oh, don't run into a cactus, mate. Um, I Put that there and there. It's just a case of just putting a little bit of extra. That doesn't need anything on that side. This, let's put a button there and there. 
and also perhaps there and there. I think it needs a third one. Uh, no, not there, but there. Now that doesn't look like it is balanced. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it on this level. That then works quite well along there. That then means, no, I'm not going to do that there. That's, that's okay. Now, what I've done is rather than having the planks, we've just got the buttons on that side and that sort of is okay. Oops, we put buttons on like that. That's horrible. So let's get rid of that straight away. You never saw that. It didn't happen. It wasn't there. Pretend it didn't exist. There we go. So now what we can do, we can also actually, why don't we just make it a little bit interesting. That like that. And then that like that. So we've got some interest there. And then right in the corner here, we'll shove a bit of glowstone. We'll call it natural light, even though there's nothing natural about it. And we'll shove trapdoors on that. Uh, glowstone on that one as well. And here too. And that will be plenty of light for the upstairs. We don't need any more at all. That works quite nicely. Let's come down and take a look at it from a distance because that I reckon I reckon we are pretty much onto a winner well that is officially the first desert house I've ever made ever in what knocking on the door of four years of Minecraft I've never ever done a desert house before so that works quite well you know what this multi-biome malarkey, I quite enjoy this. I quite like desert houses. They're all right. I mean, that's a dead basic one, but it'd be quite fun to do some bigger stuff, I reckon. So as the starter home, this is your starter desert house for 10. And I think it's all right. So let me know in the comments, how many desert houses have you made? Do you like the desert as a biome to live in? Especially if it's surrounded by everything that's not a desert, obviously. But if you do, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have liked this video, please remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I'll keep on making them. And if you haven't done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.